Good morning children. In this video, we are going to discuss the answers of exercise B of the chapter adjectives. We have already done exercise A. Let's move on to the next exercise. This is on page number 45 of your book. Here, I've taken a snapshot from your book. This is how the exercise looks in your book. Now, this exercise, you have to do it in the book itself. You don't have to do it in the notebook. Alright, now what does the question say? The question asks us to underline adjectives. We have to identify the kind of adjective. That is, whether it is adjective of quality, quantity, number or whether it is a demonstrative adjective. Also, you have to highlight the noun that the adjectives describe. Okay, now because there is a lot of things to do in this exercise and you have to do it in the book itself. In this video, I have shown it very clearly. How will you do it? And I want you all to stick to the same method while you do it in your notebook. Please don't follow any other method because after you do it in the book, this will be subjected to mass correction. Mass correction means that we are going to follow peer correction method. So your work in your book should look very neat. It should not become a mess. So because we have less space over here, I've created some short forms. So that we don't take a lot of space in writing such big spellings. For adjective of quality, we will use the short form QL. For adjective of quantity, we will use the short form QNT. For adjective of number, we will use N. For demonstrative, we will use D. Please keep in mind that when you have your test, you are not going to follow these short forms. These short forms are only for your book work as we don't have enough space. In your answer sheets, you will have enough space and we expect you to write full spellings. If you don't write full spellings in your test, you will lose out on marks. This, this format over here, it is only for your book. So let's start with our book exercises with this. The first sentence here is, the climber did not eat any meals. What is my adjective here? Adjective is any. What is the noun that the adjective describes? The noun is meals. And the kind of this adjective is quantity. So, just above the adjective, you will write QNT. Okay, that is how you will do it. See, above the adjective, you write QNT. Similarly, I want you all to do the exercise in your book in the very same way. Don't write it on the side. Please don't write the adjective over here. I want the adjective to be written at the top. Because in some sentences after this, you have more than one or two adjectives so don't write it at the end of the sentence write it at the top of the adjective okay underline the adjective circle the noun follow the rules very clearly let's move on to the next sentence there is a cold wind blowing very easy cold wind blowing adjective is cold cold is used for the word wind so my noun is wind what kind of a wind it is it is cold wind so cold is the quality that is why we will write QL over here. Next one. Dark clouds hovered in the sky. The words hovered means roamed about. Okay. So there were dark clouds in the sky. What kind of clouds? Dark. So dark is the adjective. Clouds is the noun. Dark is quality of the clouds. So this is also adjective of quality. Similarly, we will write QL over here. Either book will do either book we did this rule in the explanation there was a rule for each every either neither you should remember that so either is the adjective it is used for the noun book and this is an adjective of number because you're talking about one book at a time think about the rule that we explained and you will be able to understand this one next one these eggs are rotten. So we are pointing out towards some eggs. These eggs you are pointing out. Right? So these is the adjective. It is used for the noun eggs. So we circle eggs. Now because you are pointing out which adjective do we use for pointing out? Demonstrative adjective. So we write a D over here. Now let's read the remaining part of the sentence. These eggs are rotten. Do you see another adjective here? Rotten. Yes, rotten says about the quality of the eggs. What kind of eggs? So, because it is describing the same noun eggs, we have already circled it. We don't have to do it again. The kind of the adjective is 
quality. Rotten says about the quality of the X. That is why this is how you will do it over here. There are two adjectives. One is a demonstrative adjective. One is an adjective of quality. They describe the same noun. That is why we circle X only once. Number six. I have a few friends. How many friends? Few friends. Few is the adjective. Friends is the noun. Now, you tell me whether it is an adjective of quantity or number. Think for yourself. Which one do you think is more appropriate? When I was teaching you quantity and number, I told you about one difference. That adjective of quantity comes only for uncountable nouns. But adjective of number comes for countable nouns. So ask yourself, is friends countable? Yes, it is. You can count friends. Since it is a countable noun, few over here is adjective of number. So we write N. Clear? Next one. He made several mistakes in the test. Several mistakes. Several is the adjective. The word several is used for which noun? Mistakes. Yes. Now ask yourself, is mistakes countable? Can you count mistakes? Yes, we can. We can count. I have done one mistake. I have done two mistakes, right? You can count mistakes. That is why several is also adjective of number. I hope it is clear till here. If you are getting confused, please pause the video and listen to it again. We move on to number eight here. Three boys were walking down the narrow lane. Three boys were walking down the narrow lane. How many boys? Three boys. So three is adjective. Three is the number for what? It is the number of the boys because it is used for boys and boys is a common noun. So we circle boys here. And the adjective three, it tells you about the exact number of boys. So we write N over here because it is an adjective of number. Let's read the remaining part of the sentence. Let's see if we have any other adjectives here. Three boys were walking down the narrow lane. Okay, narrow lane. What is lane? You know what lane is? Okay, so the word narrow is the adjective because the lane is a narrow lane. It is telling you about the kind of the adjective. Lane is the noun, so we circle lane. And what kind of an adjective is narrow? It is telling you about the kind of lane. So this is an adjective of quality. Right? Move on to number 9. Sukhvinder scored the third goal of the match. The third goal. Which goal? Third goal. Remember I taught you the ordinals? Whenever you have the order of something, order of the noun, it's called ordinals, which falls under which kind? Adjective of number. So third is the adjective, comes for the noun goal. So we circle goal and we write N on top of third because it is telling you about the order of the goal. It is third. So third is adjective of number. Number 10, the talkative girl Got into a long argument. The talkative girl. Which kind of a girl? Talkative. Talkative is an adjective. Who is talkative? The girl. So talkative describes the girl. So circle girl. And what is the kind of adjective? Quality. Right? Because it is telling you about the quality of the girl. Got into a long argument. Again, long is adjective. Which is used for the noun argument. Long is also quality. What kind of an argument? It was a long argument. See, there are two adjectives over here. They are describing two different nouns. So, we write adjectives also differently. That is why I told you that I don't want you all to write the adjectives at the end of the sentence. It should be at the top of the adjective. Okay. Now, number 11. I have enough rations to last two months. So, enough rations. Enough is the adjective. Rations is the noun because it is describing that word. And enough is what kind of adjective? Can you count rations? No. So this is quantity. Okay. 
and how many months can it last? Two months. So two is another adjective which is used for the noun months and two is adjective of number. Clear? Because it is giving you the exact number of months. We will come to number 12. The Chinese language is not easy to learn. Chinese is the adjective which describes the noun language. Now this also we studied in the example. Remember there was an example for British Empire wherein I told you that the word British comes from the proper noun Britain. So it is a proper adjective. Similarly Chinese comes from the proper noun China. So this is also a proper adjective and proper adjectives fall under adjective of quality. So we write QL over here. Okay. In this sentence there is one more adjective which is easy because not easy describes that Chinese language is not easy to learn. You also know that easy has comparative and superlative forms too which is easier and easiest. That is why we will also take this as an adjective and this is an adjective quality. So we will write QL for this. Number 13. Every word in this article is meaningful. Now this is a short sentence but it has three adjectives. Let's point out. First one, every word. There is a rule we did for each, every, either, neither. So every is the adjective describing the word. Word here. Okay. So every is describing word. Because when we say, when we use the word every, we are talking about one word at a time. So it is an adjective of number. Let's move on to the remaining part of the same sentence. Every word in this article. We are talking about this article. So we are pointing towards the article. This is the next adjective. It is coming for the noun article. And this is demonstrative adjective because you are pointing out towards the article. Now there is one more adjective that is meaningful. What kind meaningful? Now you know this is quality. Being meaningful is a quality. So this is adjective of quality. And which one, what is it describing? It is describing word. The words are meaningful. Because it is describing words, it is already circled. So we don't have to circle it again. All right. Let's move on to the next one, number 14. This information must be conveyed to the loyal supporters. This information. Again, see I'm pointing out towards the information. So this is the adjective being used for the noun information because we are pointing out this is a demonstrative adjective. Alright. Must be conveyed to the loyal supporters. What kind of supporters? Loyal. So loyal is an adjective used for supporters and this is adjective of quality because you are saying about the quality of the supporters. Next is the lonely lady lived in a huge mansion by the side of a dry lake which had not received much rain that year. So this is a long sentence. The last sentence is a long one and it has Four adjectives. Let us see what are the adjectives. First one, the lonely lady. See what kind of lady? Lonely. So lonely is adjective being used for the noun lady. What kind of adjective it will be? Because lonely is telling about the quality of the lady, right? What kind of the lady? So this is adjective of quality. Lived in a huge mansion. What kind of mansion? Huge mansion. Huge is again adjective used for the noun mansion. What kind of a mansion? Huge. So huge is quality. By the side of a dry lake. Again, what kind of a lake? Dry lake. Dry is being used for the noun lake and this is also quality. Which had not received much rain that year. How much rain? Much rain. Much is the adjective being used for the noun rain. Can you count rain? You cannot count rain, right? Obviously, there's no way we can count rain. So, this is quantity. I hope this exercise is clear. <coughs> if you got stuck anywhere, please pause the video and view it again. You will be able to understand. And this is exactly how I want you all to do the exercise in your notebook. 
don't follow any other method i don't want you all to write full forms in the book stick to short forms as it will keep your work neat all right thank you please follow this method and i hope this exercise is now very clear to you